at this point, Carlos Correa is about to lose millions and millions of dollars. What's going on guys, the King of 161st Street. I'm back with another video and this saga just keeps going on and there doesn't seem to be an end in sight as now the Mets are saying they're running into the same issues that the Giants did during the physical. Again, this is a lot of the confusion that we had when the Mets automatically signed Correa after the Giants picked him up. Where it was like, is it he going to fail your physical too? And that's why there were questions about the legitimacy of what happened here. But now we're starting to see that the Mets just got a little greedy. They saw an opportunity, they pounced, and now in their physical, it don't look good. They're running into the same issues and it looks as though it is from a 2014 injury to Carlos Correa's fibula. Now, usually with these leg injuries, it's medicine has gotten to a point where these leg injuries do not cost you your career. You're out for that certain amount of time and then you're back, back like new. This does not seem to be the case. And for some reason, this 2014 injury is just coming up now in response to his physicals. How do how does Carlos Correa go ahead with his with getting to a team at this point when these teams seem to not trust the work that his doctor did at that point? No team is signing him to a long-term deal if this doesn't work out with New York. New York is the one team the Mets are the one team right now that's just willing to throw the money anywhere. You get a bag, you get a bag, you get a bag. Hey, you could play baseball, you get a bag. You could hit 200, you get a bag. Anyone gets a bag. And now if they're saying, oh wait, not you, you don't get a bag. That's not good for Carlos Correa's future contracts, especially if he's back on the market. Because no other team is willing to throw around 13 years, or 12 years I think it was, for $315 million. Not after his second fail physical in two weeks. He is definitely going to have to sign a short term deal. Because if I have to put my two cents into this, I'm assuming this is all because of how long the deal is. And these doctors are telling them... His leg is not going to hold up. These these teams, it's still a business to them. And yeah, he'll probably get through five years of the deal. But with the Mets deal, there's still seven more years. In the Giants deal, there were still eight more years. That means you're just losing money. And these guys do not want to lose money based off of an injury from 2014. They don't. And now if the Mets are saying no to his 12-year deal... And he's back on the market. To be honest, he may have to go back and try and get that Minnesota deal again. Try and get another three-year deal with a ton of opt-outs. Try to prove the teams that his leg is fine. And then get back on the open market. Because without that clarity that his leg is fine, Carlos Correa is not getting more than five years. No team is going to sign him for more than five years. That's the length of your physical prime because he's 28 right now. Your physical prime ends around 32, 33. That's the length he's going to get. No more 12 year deals. No more, no more deals in the teens. None of that. He's not getting anywhere near that based off two teams looked at him. One team that has basically unlimited money, it seems like. And. Even that team is saying, well, we, we'd rather not with you. It's, it's a big deal for him. This is going to cost Carlos Correa hundreds of millions of dollars, probably. You know, it's, it's sort of a shame to see one of the premier talents in baseball sort of be passed around like this based off of this leg injury. At first, you looked at the Giants and you thought, all right, they got cold feet, you know. This is the first guy who ever said yes to them. They've been in on these deals, but this is the first time someone said yes. 
And when they looked at his physical, they saw something wrong and immediately said, no, we're not paying that. And a lot of people seem to think that like the Giants made a mistake and they just let the, the new evil empire, people call him, in the Mets, take him out under every other team. And now they're trying to build this like super team out in, out in Queens. But now if the now that the Mets are even saying, hold up, the super team may have to wait. We got issues. His price is going from here to here. And it's going to be a wait and see process on exactly who would take him in now. Because there are teams out there that need a shortstop <clears throat> like them. And with this revelation, he isn't getting a long-term deal anywhere else. Like I said a lot of times before, is he going to get a one-year deal now? Is he going to try and get those three years with the opt-outs? We don't know where this is going to take us. And that's why this saga is getting crazy right now. Because the Mets thought they had their guy. They thought they had their left side of the infield for years to come. They thought they had Frankie Lindor and Carlos Correa for north of 10 years, along with Jeff McNeil and Pete Alonso. And then an outfield that stars Brandon Nimmo, Starling Marte, with a rotation that has Max Scherzer and Justin Verlander. This is... Like, Carlos Correa is a main piece in that, playing third base. Now, the Carlos Correa thing is not happening anymore. Their lineup is still going to include Eduardo Escobar now. Again, this is if the physical is too much for them to not continue with any deal. Because there is always the possibility the Mets get at, go at him and say, your physical looks like shit, but we'll give you a short-term deal to see how you progress and then we'll take it from there there's always that possibility but this is just this is just an absolute shit show when it comes to Carlos Correa's future and you know for someone that talented it's just a shame that an injury that you would have thought would have been no big deal is now going to cost him for years to come, it seems like. So hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully it won't be about Carlos Correa, but most likely it will be. These videos do like shit in terms of numbers, so have at it. Hopefully, if you watched, thank you for clicking on. You're the best, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.